My princess, I didn't see anyone. You did not see anyone. Yes, my princess. Assemble all the maids. Now! Yes, my princess. all of you took the money I left on the table this morning. Not me, I said, who amongst all of you took the money I left on the table this morning? No. Oh, the money grew wings and flew away just like that. Get out. Anymore. I mean, this is getting serious. What is it? And who would be bold enough to go into the princess room and take the money she dropped on her dressing table? So, did the money disappear? <laughs> or are you trying to say that princess doesn't know what she's talking again? God forbid, ma. That is not what I said, though. Hmm. <laughs> I pray that this does not affect the innocent ones. I wonder. Ha! Huh. Why the main culprit goes free? We all know Princess Edwiri and what she can do. They just pray she catches the thief, or else we all are doomed. What can we do? Eh? Because we are doing anything about that. I beg you, I don't want to suffer for a crime I know nothing about. No way. Amen. No way. Amen. Ah. Oh, it's too much. It's getting too much. Seriously. Hey, you went to say, you went I don't know The day has not brought out your usual glow. Who in this kingdom is responsible for this? If I knew I would have dealt with it, I wouldn't be bothering you. My money has been stolen again, my father. Again? But you know, it's amazing that this only happens in your chambers. Does that suggest I'm careless? No, 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 no. Far from it. It only caused me to wonder about the diligence and the effectiveness of your achievement. Father, honor has been with me for over six years. I have absolutely no reason whatsoever to doubt her faithfulness. Well, you may be right, my Joel. But in human affairs, human faithfulness calls for regular review. That you will learn. I know, but... It is, it is difficult to imagine that she could be behind all the theft. Very. Yeah, it is. It is so. But, be rest assured of this, my dear. If the thief has been stealing for 1,000 years, one day, just one day, the girls will visit him or her with vengeance and justice. Just one day. Thank you, my father. Right enough, my dear. You know you are my joy. Thank you. Oh, 
I thought you won't make it tonight. What kept my love? My dear, tension in the palace over the loss of my princess. Mother. Well, but what does that have to do with the love we share? Ah, the princess happiness defines my mood. True, but I know. But begin to think about when your mood will be defined by the love we have to oh. share. <laughs> I can't wait for that time to come. Well, you suppose it begins tonight? Elche, it begins every night and ends every morning. Well, you never can tell what tomorrow holds in the picture. What if I stumble on gold right now and we leave this kingdom and make the world of our own? Yeah, you know you dream big. <laughs> I just hope I... they come through one day. Let's start from somewhere first. <laughs> Ubiadana! <laughs> Let us start from somewhere first. Elche, stop! Well, you want to wake up the whole palace? Shh! Let me go and give it to you. Come, 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 come. Stop. Come. Who be your Your Royal Majesty. It's no secret in the kingdom how difficult it was for me to train my only son. The only son I have after my husband's death. Now he has grown to manhood. This witch, this witch cut down his life! <laughs> Your Highness, Olaya is my only child. Miss Evelyn, that she has in her self defense. How? How is it possible that she can match a strong man like Oba? Liar! No, liar. liar like you! She planned to kill my son, Your Majesty! This witch planned to kill my son! She took him on her ways! The Majesty, this is incredible. Nuswana! The world is becoming molded by the day, Your Highness. The verdict is clear. And if we delay justice, it will send the wrong signal to our women folk. Yes, to kill any young man that greets them on the way. Yes! How can a man that tells me that he loves me grasp me and tears off my clothes? Your Majesty, I had no choice. I never knew he was going to die. I never knew. I'm sorry. You mean you really stabbed him to death? Eh? Huh? <laughs> Let me tell you. Self-defense or not, our laws Say death for death. Period. <laughs> Do not blind your only eye with which I see. But she blinded mine! Witches! Look at them! Enough. Witches! Enough! Enough of this bantering. My chiefs have spoken. And in line with the tradition of my people. I hereby hey, declare I want more. <laughs> Mama! Mama! Mama. Oh, please help me, I'm begging you, please. I beg you, please help me. Oh, God, your mother, detain her. Now make sure that she's revived. to understand two deaths and well what I may call miscarriage of justice well, that's their fate. and fate my dear no one can do anything about but what is this about justice my father we cannot do anything about fate but it's in your power to do something about justice. Oh, you're referring to the girl. Well, the laws of our land are quite straightforward about that. Indeed. 
but the laws I exercised in the doctrine of justice. Was it just for the boy to rape her? Is that our law? That was her word against his, which cannot be confirmed, unfortunately, because the boy is now dead. Think about it, my father. The girl could not have overpowered him and stabbed him if he was not on the wrong side of the law. He was an animal for attempting to rape her. Well, that is why Sleeper suddenly took in flight. I think about it all night. But there is never a reason good enough for murder. Yeah. The girl was right, my father. She didn't have murder at the back of her mind. But our law, but our laws. Father, our laws were made by men. And it is only reasonable for them to amend it when necessary. If you say the law, it becomes injustice. The law should always ensure justice, my father. But my people, my chiefs, they you don't are the custodian, case. not them. Whatever you pronounce today will become antecedents that will reverberate through generations yet unborn. Nobody remembers the people or the chiefs. It's a very difficult situation. There are times to modify laws, break protocols, and waive policies. Now is such a time, my father. You may go to sleep now, my jewel. Yes, my father. My babe, go ahead and drink it. Eh? It will help to ease the pains. It's a good heart for pains. Please. Please. Hmm? Come to bow. Try. Take it. Take it. Let do that. <coughs> My king, before 30 minutes, she will sleep off. Let no one disturb her. By the gods, she will be alright. I shall go to the forest and collect more herbs. I shall return the evening to see how she is faring. Thank you. Sees everything and flies high. And yours. My eyes are burning. My eyes are burning so much that all I see is the pain of my jewel. And to think that my own child is in there, in her stomach, suffering. You will we feel your pain. No, we don't. Yes. I can't. No. How can you possibly feel my pain? Your Highness, and at least we can understand how you feel. That is why I would suggest that since it has, it appears have reached the limit of my capability, it is expedient we look beyond Mbuzu for remedy. Your Highness, the words give me hope no more. There is hope beyond here, Your Highness, and we look for that hope. And the gods will guide us. I think, I think I have lost every understanding of how your herbs work. Igwe medicine is my fruit. And I will see that hope. And the gods will guide me too. Then go now. Why are you waiting for? Go everywhere, anywhere. And bring back my life. 
Helpless as a kanga here. The kanga. The Is this the hope beyond my kingdom you talked about? <laughs> Take this stranger out of my face now. <laughs> I say it's strange. Let's go, let's go. I teach you to keep hope alive. Let's go. Your Highness, some illness takes time to heal. Two weeks is enough time for a good herb to check effect, don't you think? No, no, not this. No, not this one. As I was taught by my father, a good herb needs time to work. This for my herbs needs time to work. Patient is the word, man. Patience is the word, my lord. How I have come to hate that word, patience. Hmm? The Kenga. Your Highness. This young man is wasting my time. Go beyond this kingdom and fetch me the hope you promised. The Kenga. Malifi. Malifi. That it will heal. Which time my herbs will grow? I told you I lost my own and you come and do the same thing. This is uh, the king of the vultures. The great medicine man for our community. He has come to do his best. Yes, your highness. Yes. Your highness, I plead that you give me the chance to try my medicine on the pain to see if it will work out. Ezudene. Yes, your highness. I am not a king friendly with the word trial. What I need is assurance. My king. This is not time for trial and error. In a few weeks time, my queen is due to put to bed and you're here talking about trial and error. You can't. Malife. Malife. If you cannot give me the assurance, then clear out of my palace.
My queen of the child. The queen couldn't make it my king. Oh, brother! Oh, 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 like a burning spear. Happy. Oh, my dear, and you are still not sleeping. I, I came to check on you. Okay, and how is your brother, Ulama? He is fast asleep, but you are not sleeping. Yes, my dear, I'm not sleeping because I lost my jewel. Do you want to die for her? Well, no, but I'm not sure things will be the same again. I used to think that you love me. Of course I do love you. If you truly love me, you won't leave me. I will, I will never leave you. Hmm? You are my jewel. I will never leave you. Hmm. Do you love me? Yes. Come close to me. I love you. You are my jewel. And I will never leave you. Okay, I'll get you some water. 
Okay, you don't have to bother. Please, you don't have to bother. I beg you, no. Don't yes. worry. It's I, fine. I won't be caught. I'll be right back. Waiting for Densi is like waiting for a fruit to ripe. He is not always punctual. So let us begin this meeting now, Obi. This thing Udensi is doing is getting out of hand. Why should Udensi always keep elders waiting? Why? This is unacceptable. When will he ever grow up? Go get Muki Magi to me. You talk as if you don't know him. Eliopold never changes his spots. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I had to put a few things in place in my farm. That is why you see me late. We all are loafers here. None of us here has farm. None of us has farm. None of us has farm to, None of us has farm to put something in place. We then see. You must grow up. I will. I will. We will not always tolerate this year lads. It. It's enough. That is why I pleaded guilty. Okay, never, never mind. I promise it will never happen again. I, I hope you are okay now. Uh huh. Now to the business at hand. We all know the tragedy that befell Nega, our late brother's wife. Obi. The real tragedy is that of her daughter. Who stabs people and killing her mother in the process of one hour? Eh? Udoku. Udoku. No. Let's not give our daughter a bad name. You know, it's unfair. It's unfair. What other name can you give a mother? Huh? They call her mother. Uh -huh. I heard she acted on self defense, which you can even do. If you were in her shoes. You then see you came late here. So stop pulling us back. We are not here to debate on her cute or otherwise. No. We are here to talk about her burial. Because the king has instructed that we keep her body from decomposing. So we are here to talk how to raise money and bury her. That's a problem. Because myself, <laughs> I have to wait till harvest to raise money. You've just spoken my mind before. Oh, oh, no. I spent everything on on, on your siblings. Oh, I, I've spent it. Hey, but uh, we, we have to bury herself. Of course, eh? she must be buried. Yeah. We either go borrowing or selling properties. A corpse must be buried, and according to tradition. You didn't sleep in your room last night. Honor, are you going to tell me where? But my princess, I slept in my room. You were not in your room last night. Because I checked for you there. I slept in my room, my princess. So, I'm lying, isn't it? Probably when I went to the next room, my princess. You were not there because I checked for you there as well. Maybe when I went outside to catch some air, I was feeling sick. Are you telling me the truth? I'm sorry, but... Honor. Never ever lie to me. If you want me to continue to trust you, never lie to me. Yes, my princess. Go and check on his majesty. Yes, my princess.
I'm not the money lender mean by not lending money to the cops. And now, Bazilezu, why do you ask me? You should go and ask him. Were you not the one that took me there? Oh, Kedi, Obi, God of our land. Now, now, tell me, how long do we leave the cops unburied? Neka and Ulo have been a thorn on our flesh. If that girl had agreed to marry since, we wouldn't have this problem. You are taking medicine after death. That is just medicine after death. Neka refused the tradition. If she had refused to marry me, she could have gone back to her people. Can go marry to Mmm. I can see you are determined to demonize the woman. Stop accusing me. Do you know why the money lender refused to lend us money? I suspect that Neka was owing him. You have no proof, or have you? You better arrange for another family meeting. Why should I suffer for a woman who refused authority and tradition? Oh, 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 oh. Is that your gross with her? Quit playing the ostrich. Do you know that she couldn't give my brother a son? Even the only daughter she had is on debtor. What a waste. It shall come and none cheer. It's, huh? it's a pity that Mr. Pity fall into a pit and no one cared to pity him. Good morning, Honor. Good morning, Honor. Good morning. Are you sure you girls are still with me? Still with you? What do you mean we are still with you? Why didn't you tell me the princess came looking for me last night in your room? In your room? You mean our room? Why would the princess be looking for you in our room? Um, that means we must have been fast asleep. But Wait, why our room? Didn't you sleep in your room last night? Oh. It's enough, just enough. Just get out of my way. Get out! Wow, wow. What's wrong with her? I don't know. That's me. Oh, super abiyama. Oh, wow. After careful consideration and a deep look into this matter at night, I have come to the conclusion that the girl in question did not intentionally kill that boy. I can see that it is a case of accident occasioned by the natural instinct of self-defense. And we have to be very careful. We must be careful so as not to have what they call miscarriage of justice in our land. Igwe. The ego himself. But uh, the implication of your words of wisdom is that you desecrate the laws of our forefathers. But, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but uh, true, my dear. True. Obuma. Uh, By the sword, has always died by the sword. Huh? And by this, mudras have been very few and very far apart from Mbozola. Uh, you are right to know, but we must not close our ears to the wisdom of the king, even though the boy had criminal motive. Did I hear you say criminal motive? Huh? You know not what you say. Mm. Can you prove it? Can you prove that he went in there to rape her? Were you there? And what was he doing in her house? Excuse me. I mean, the men fold no longer have right to visit the women in this kingdom. Okay, 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 okay. Tell me, why do you think she's standing? Does every woman you visit pick a knife and stand in? Foolish talk. I say foolish talk. The man has the mother, and we're here talking sentiment. We should not allow sentiment to be cloud. 
our sense of judgment. We yeah. must back God in our life. Life Jesus. My fellow chief, this girl in question does not deserve such mercy. I mean, she does not have blue blood in her. My brothers, I greet you all. Thank you. Thank you. Due to the issue at hand, we have tried to raise money for Neka's burial, but to no avail. The money lenders gave excuses that this is a planting season and there's nothing they could do to help us. Obi, Obi, what are we going to do now? Uh, we have resorted to selling properties. But the only property available for sale is this house. That's Obi. Your brother's house? Your own brother's house? Yeah, okay. You know, when I fought Agimili. Do you have uh, any option? Huh? Neka is dead. Uloma is about to be executed. So who will inhabit here? Okay, no chicha oyebieba. I have my own house, so I can go back to my house. <coughs> Mazobi, let me ask you this question. Ask him, Joanya. Are you telling us this thing for us to think over it? Or are you deciding that you are going to sell this mm -mm. building off? Father, this is injustice at its worst. My jewel. The words one of your cabinet chiefs used on that girl was despicable. I don't know. He called her a commoner. Father, the gods see us as equals. If we're not to incur the wrath of the gods, justice must be done to us all equally. Major, you have to know and understand where they're coming from. We have to do the right thing. My princess, my princess, when I need you, I'll send for you. Thank you, my princess. My princess, you sent for me? Yes. Who has the keys to the cells? Oh, I do, my princess. I want to see the girl that lost her mother yesterday. Very well, then. This way. What is your name? My name is Oloma, my princess. Such a nice name. And you're beautiful too. Thank you, my princess. But of what use is beauty when my life will soon be snuffed out? It is a pity your mother didn't pull through. Accept my sympathy. My mother died because of me. And I'm going to die for the same sin. Look at me. Look into my eyes and tell me what you see. I... I see a... I see boldness. A confident and fearless princess. With a lot of dreams in her eyes. That is exactly what I want to see in your eyes. No matter who you are, or the situation you find yourself in, you have to be strong. I have not come to give you hope, but I've come to give you courage. Hope is what you find for yourself. I want your eyes to sparkle because they are a reflection of your heart and people see your heart through your eyes. Uloma. Yes, my princess. You have to be strong. Thank you, baby. I Oh, 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 oh,
Live long, my king. You look gloomy, my father. Who was that man? He is a sentry from the outpost of our kingdom. Mm, he obviously didn't come with good tidings. My jewel. Evil is on the attack. And these people are desecrating the land. Do you know who they are? But well, they are obviously for Umula Kingdom. Umula Kingdom? I thought you maintained a healthy relationship with the king. Much more than that. We have intertraded for generations. Which is why it bothers me with these behaviors they have. What are you going to do now? That bothers my mind. Hmm. Uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. But Father, I suggest you send emissaries to their kingdom. Their king should be able to put them in check. Right. But the trouble is, the king himself might not even know that his brigades are into mischief. Don't let that bother you. We should leave this to the Prime Minister to take care of. We already have too much to worry our heads with. Right. right. You're right. You're quite right. What would I do without you? You have seen the house. It is in excellent condition. Even uh, at the backyard, all the uh, we are towards the other side, you see. So, so I bring money. It's very wonderful. Obi, let me be in the position to determine that. Eh? After all, we have been going around the building and I've seen it by myself. And then, what do you think? Uh, not really. Obi, look at it. You just have to cut down the price a little bit. So that if I am buying it, I can pay you comfortably. Eh? No, 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 no. If I Without do. any stress. If I do, the purpose will be defeated. Okay, I understand. Well, um, I will consider that. Hmm? And when I do, I will let you know. But the family are waiting to hear from me now. I will be... You will hear from me soon. <laughs> okay. After all, you hear from me soon. The place is okay. It's nice. So, like as I was saying, eh? Hold on. Ichi. Mm. How are you doing? Ichi, I'm alright. I brought you some food. Ichi. I wanted to get some food and uh, water. The dividends are still awake. Take it. Take it. Ichi, thank you so much. I am so grateful. Thank you. I am so happy to see your spirit up once again. Well, thanks to you and the princess. Her words of encouragement has given me a ray of hope. Even if she said otherwise. So you believe that I have a future? Yes. 
And when that future comes, remember I love you. You love someone who would die in the morning. If the king turns, it's my best way. Oh, I love you so much, and I never believed you would hire the first to die, so you love conquers death. Ichi, you are investing your heart in the grave. If you believe that I am going to stay alive, I mean, Ichi, you know. Again. Where have you been? What is it now? I was in the guard's room. Liar. I looked for you there, but I didn't see you. Oh, okay. Maybe it was when I went to check on the Sally mates to see if the doors were locked. That is what you told me two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, you told me the same story. I hope you're not having an affair with any of the mates behind my back. Shh. Ubiya Dada. Huh? My love, how can you say things like that? You know it's only you. Eh? It's only you now. Smile for me. Yesterday I waited here in bed. And, and today again you kept me waiting. Okay, it won't happen again. Oh, my love, my princess. But I don't want that to happen again. It will not. Hmm? Maybe my friend man. You don't want me to like this for other people. May the gods be praised. They kind of brought us good news from their honest work. Yes, Igwe. Ah, my jewel, you are dead as someone who is heading for a feast. I am not aware of such a feast going on in this kingdom. The feast is not far from sight, considering the season. My princess, she's speaking fire. I greet you, my chiefs. The princess of the princess. Isn't it amazing that my father, his royal majesty, is so preoccupied with matters of the kingdom that he chooses to forget an important day such as this? Again, my princess, you are speaking in parables. My father, you have forgotten that today is my birthday. Oh, princess of Good heavens! Hey! May the girls punish evil. My dear, I apologize. Perhaps the evil is getting old and bored. <laughs> <laughs> to make up for my failing memory, I thereby declare today a day of feasting throughout the kingdom. God, oh, your majesty. <laughs> Summon all the caterers of the land. Let food be plentiful. Let drinks be inexhaustible. Mm. And call the musicians together with their herbs and drums. And let my cheese stand to the music of the melody. Thank you, my Have you met my princess?
The people of Ubuza land. Igwe. Igwe. I thank you all for rejoicing with us. For even the birds of the sky are rejoicing with my jewel today. My jewel, who has been the source of strength and wisdom to me in this land. And as tradition demands today, I ask you to ask anything you want of me. I shall to be given to you as tradition demands. I greet you all, my people. It is a thing of joy that I am the princess of Umbuzu Kingdom and my father's jewel. My father, I hope you will not be angry for what I'm about to ask you for. Angry, did you say? There is no anger. Where is anger on the day that the lion's cub first made the ski? There's nothing on this land today but joy. Joy. And no anger. Joy. Ask and it shall be given to you. I ask that Ulo be set free. There is so much treasure, golden treasure on this land. Land, properties, gold and silver. As for you shall have it. Not this. I have made my choice, my father. Very well then, my jewel. As a king of a bosom land, and as tradition demands, I grant you your wish. Freedom. Thank you, sir. It is well with you. Now let the music begin, and let merriment continue. See the princess, right? Okay, let's go in, okay? When you get there, you talk to her yourself. Hero, you're not a princess, you go. Wait! The princess has just bought you your freedom. You have escaped our ass. You may not leave. Wait, 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 um, 
You, you, you mean that I, I? You mean that I can? <laughs> you are now a free girl. You can go now. You were right. You were so right. Yeah. You said you saw life in my eyes. You were right. <laughs> yes, but you, you should be smiling instead of crying. You know, I don't know what to do than to cry right now. That's the only expression I have in my heart, AJ. Okay, okay. Uh, it's the gods doing. The gods did it. All right. So, where are you going to now? I'm going to our house. Okay. Can I see the princess? I, I want to say thank you. Um, the princess is busy right now inside, okay? I'll help you talk to her, then I'll come to your house tomorrow to see how you're faring. Alright? Okay, Che. Yeah, you can go now. Thank you so much. May the gods reward you. Thank you so much. And the gods shall protect you as you need. It's your sweet. Go, go, go. I know. It's your sweet. <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah, come on. Thank you. Thank you. Go before go. the king changes his mind. Go on.
my life. I'm not dead. Oh, I am not dead. I am alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm not dead. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm not dead. I'm alive. Wait. I'm not dead now. I'm alive. Stop running. Stop running now. I'm alive. I'm not dead. I'm alive. Since we have all agreed to go and bring back our cups tomorrow for her better proper. The earlier we do it, the better for all of us. So anyway, there's no need wasting more time since we have uh, we have realized some money. Right, right. Mm -hmm. um, then see, we all are still saying the same thing. No, we are not saying the same thing. Let's make arrangement concerning food and drinks. Okay. Let us go on with this barrier and forget the issue of foods and drinks. Eh? After all, this is not a celebration of life or something else. Obi? Obi? I will give up Obi. Nenyo Genyo. Nenyo Genyo. It has never been heard or seen in this entire community that anyone was buried without food and drinks. Even the poorest citizens. Tell him. Tell him. Okay, provide for it. Hmm? I said provide. Because going by my own estimate, foods and drinks are not accommodated. Go and provide for it. Obi, you are wicked. I mean, you are heartless, Obi. If I jump out. Uh, it's okay, oh, uh, No, no it hasn't got into that extent. It's okay, relax. Leave, no, 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 leave him. Okay. Let him talk to oh, me. I said, let him talk to you. Okay, once you go, you are the one. 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 Okay, once I'm, I'm sure these boys have a sick man they are all they are drunk. This is serious. You saw lost ghost. Hey! Oh no. You can't. Hey! She's alive, folks. Hold on, she's alive. Yes, I'm alive. Oh my. Hold on. She's alive, folks. Just sit down. Now, tell us, what happened? Did you escape? No, I did not escape. The princess pleaded for my release, and the king granted her request. You see? I said it. I said that this girl is a witch. She has bewitched her way into freedom. Right. I her mother. Why yes, Look at it. She's a witch. I said it before. She's a witch. That's in the witch. So enough of that, Obi. Instead of us to be happy that our daughter came back and stay alive. Yes. It was your mother. You don't see. Hmm? What interest do you have? I said what interest do you have? You are asking me. Yes. You are chasing flies out of somebody's asleep. You are crying louder than the bereaved. I suspect you. What are you doing there? Don't uncle me. Don't uncle me. Are you deaf? Didn't I tell you to look for somewhere else to stay? That this house has been sold. And a buyer of this house uh, will take possession of this house after your mother's burial tomorrow. Well, I have heard what you have to say. I've heard it all. I've heard it. But I've decided to sleep in this house tonight to pack all things I'll be needed. You, I, I really don't know where I'm, I'll be going from here. I don't even know. You better do because I will not warn you again. Anyway, let tomorrow comes first.
the body. What are you? I don't even know where to go from here. Nobody will even have me in their houses. You look at my sweet mother. A woman with a good heart and a good mind. Why did you die? Why did you die for me? Why? No one is even here to keep a vigil for you. Not even the women and daughters of Islam. <sighs> Mama, I will do it for you. I will keep a vigil for you, Mama. I would do it.
Where is she? Your Majesty. We have fine come the entire kingdom, but we couldn't find her. Now, what do you mean you couldn't find my daughter? Now, I will have her beheaded. If by sundown, my daughter is not here. But, my lord, would you listen to me? Blood will flow. If by sundown, she is not. My jewel, you almost gave me a heart attack. I am so sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. Oh, I would have had this man beheaded if I didn't see you by sundown. No, that is why I made hay to return from Umula land. Umula land? You went to Umula land all by yourself? Had to, my father. Seeing that you were worried, you gave me a prized gift for my birthday. And the least I could do was to reciprocate. Father, I assure you, the crisis is over. My jewel, how did you pull through? All my diplomatic emissaries returned without results. I went for the heart of the land. Ah. The princess of Umula land has assured me that the two kingdoms will enjoy peace and friendship from now on. What all the men of valor and wisdom could not do. You have done a few hours. Now what would the kingdom have done without you? I knew the chiefs were not happy because you sent the girl away. Ah, so you are truly the heroine of the Mbuzu kingdom. Welcome back. Thank you, my father. Mba, your majesty. Summon the presence of all the chiefs at once. Yes, your majesty. Come.
my money has been stolen yet again and i believe as a matter of fact i know the thief is amongst you i give you four market days to find that money or else i will withdraw your benefits for this month hey, would you... that is all i have to say I wonder who is that thief in this palace. You wonder? The princess should ask honor. After all, she is the chief maid. She is the only one that goes into her room. Ede, are you trying to say that I'm the thief? Ede! How can you be so bronze? Ede. Eh? Eche. You want my? Eche. Mulanyao. All I know, all I know that one day, one day we will get the culprit. One day we will get this culprit. Bam. That is my prayer soon. Hmm. Every time. I'm tired of all huh. these things. All I know is that one day the boss will disgrace that thing. Ah, but I have seen By the time they cut off the head, here will follow it. May the gods be with you. God forbid my salary will not be touched. I thought it was something serious. You scared me to death. You know? I'm sorry, but uh, that's just why I summoned both of you. Anyway, uh, Uncle sold your house all because of her mother's burial. So, where is she staying now? At the uncle's place? Ah, uh, who agreed to stay with that witch? So, where is she? How can I see her? Well, I heard that she's staying around the Uguama forest. That's where she's staying now. Alone? How do I see her? Just before Google, there is an old abandoned thatched house that was deserted some years back. So that was where I saw her last week. I believe she'll still be there. Okay, okay, thank you very much. But uh, Eche, why are you still looking for her again? I thought that she has been released. Or did she commit another crime whilst in the palace? Eh? <laughs> you know that girl evil nature? Obiadada, she did not commit any evil, evil, no crime at all. Um, I have a message I must deliver. Okay. Ah, what message? Let me ask. Why are you so keen to hear to hear a bad news about oh, that girl? Oh, oh, it's okay. Oh, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. You better be. Sorry, sorry. 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 My father. Ah, my jewel. This is Princess Ngui. The one and only daughter of King Muamala, the fourth of Umula Kingdom. Ah, the princess with the royal gate. You're welcome. Thank you, Your Highness. Please sit down. I feel flattered. Uh, don't be. It is true. Thank you, Your Highness. I'm very happy to be here today. I've heard so many wonderful things from my friend, your daughter, about you. When I got the message from the princess to help stop the conflict between your people and my people, I saw it as an opportunity, so I jumped at it. And I am glad I did. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Well, I must commend you, both of you, for a job well done, especially you. Princess Nguedo. Thank you, Your Highness. You are welcome, indeed. And um, how is your father, the king? He sent his regards. And his beautiful queen? She's well. Very good. You're welcome. Father, we will be in my chambers while we wait for lunch. We Very need well. to catch up on old times. Very well, then. Excuse us. Thank you, Your Highness. Where you 
Steve. Well, this is where fate has requited to me. No, here is lonely and deserted. Very dangerous for a woman. Anyone that has experienced the dread of the death roll, anywhere will be safe haven. Ichi, who told you I was here? Well, I asked around and uh, they told me. I was told. I mean, I mean, but I still insist. Well, oh, here is very dangerous and it's not decent for a woman to leave. <sighs> the truth is, I have no choice. Who would want to have a murderer that managed to escape from execution? I know your mother is no more. Oh, but you can stay in the house without her. You can. PJ, it's a pathetic story. How? PJ, can't you just hear me? Can't you just hear what I'm saying? I don't have a choice. I don't have a house. So where were you staying before your ordeal started? I was staying in our house. In my late father's house. Yeah, so, why are you not there now? Why? My uncle sold the house to... to bury my mother. Your uncle sold the house to bury your mother? of my land. Have mercy on these people. But, but, but at least they, they would have accommodated you. Who would want to accommodate a murderer? Who? Ichi, they call me a witch. An outcast. No, no. No. No, you can't be a witch. You can't possibly be a witch. Who are you? You're not depressing. Yeah. You are. I, I mean, Never mind. Um, because do not close their ears to, to, the, to the plight of an outcast. Okay. So, how have you been managing? He is too old. I mean. <laughs> you are so hilarious. I'm glad I can make Princess Iberia of all people laugh. Going on and on and on about Princess Ibi. What is so special about her? I'm not surprised you don't understand. Because you don't see your back. Mm. It's the people that sees your back that should tell you how it is. Mm. Yeah. So, what do people say Princess Ibi is? Mm. First, that she is wise and intelligent, mm. bold mm. and confident. And to cap it all, she is the daughter, the only daughter of the richest king from here to the coast. Who? Oh, what makes Mbuzo Kingdom the richest? Are you asking? Okay, I'll tell you. In Umwala Kingdom, where I am from, the only thing that generates money for the king, my father, is the farm product and the ore market. That's all. Well, here we have the farm products and three markets Nkwa, Afo and Wangene which operates for four market days plus the kingdom treasures so, this is why I say your kingdom is the richest well I never really thought of that well what does it matter sooner than you think I'll get married and I'm not going to my husband's house with all these treasures. He <laughs> does. Lunch is served. Thank you very much. I'll join you shortly. All right, thank you, sir. Mm. Princess Nguedo, lunch is served. What are we waiting for? Let's hit it. Let's go and eat. Thank you very much for honoring us with your presence. I only wish you would spend the night with me. Princess, I wish I can, but I can't. I promised the queen, my mother, that I shall return to the kingdom today, so I have to go back. But I promise to visit you very soon. That's all right. Thank you once again for coming. No, I should be the one thanking you for the wonderful meal. Your hospitality. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I enjoyed every bit of my stay with you. That's good. Thank you. 
Hmm. Princess, do accept this. It Thank is from you. my heart. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And this is for you. Yeah. I hope you like it. No, I love it. This is beautiful. Yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. See you very soon. I hope to see you soon. Take care of you. Cooperate with us. We are not like that boy. Stop. If you refuse, we will have our way and then finish you up. Do you understand? I beg you, I beg you, don't do this to me. I Cooperate. beg you. You will enjoy it. And yet, we can give you some meat instead of this canal. I, I don't want meat. I don't want meat. I'm okay with my canal. I don't want meat. Please, I beg you. I just lost my mother. Please, I beg you. Don't do this to me. <laughs> we know. Please. But one question. Do you want to lose yourself? No, I don't want to lose myself. I don't want to lose myself. Please, I beg you, don't do this to me. I beg you. I beg you, please, don't do this to me. I beg you, please, come on, please, go. Come on. I hope those rascals did not hurt you. No, they didn't. Hey, Eche, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Eche. Thank you so much, and thank you, thank you. I told you here is very dangerous. I told you. Why does everyone want to rape me? Why? Why? But it is a clear picture. It's obvious you're a beautiful woman. You are. That's why. May the gods bless you for me. May the gods bless you for me. Hey, if you didn't come here, another incident would have happened. Thank you so much, Hey, Thank you. I keep to check on you and bring you some meat. Eche. Right. Eche, thank you so much. So tell me, how is the process? You know I've not shown my gratitude to you. Well, that is not in a hurry. The most important thing here right now is your accommodation. That's the most important thing. Eche. An outcast is an outcast. You are not. Eche, you still haven't told me what is taking you out of the palace this time. Yeah, I told you, you know about my father's illness now. Yeah. My father is sick and I told you about it. Yeah, I thought he's okay and I thought he's better now. He's not better. He's even getting worse every day. This time, in fact, I just need to take care of him once and for all. Yeah. I, I need some money. I need some money to take care of him. Uh -uh, now, Eche. I just gave you some money last week. Last week. I know the money has been used. Don't you understand? I just need some more, man. Uh, Where will I get the money from now? Eh? Where? I don't know. I'm equally as confused as you are. That's the truth. I don't know what to do now. This this old man may just. I don't know. How have you been faring? Well, my princess, it's not been very easy, especially those my mother owed before she died. But I thank the gods that I've finally been able to pay them, thanks to a friend of mine who helped me. How did you get that necklace? 
Oh, a friend of mine gave it to me. A friend? Yes, my friend. I see. Okay, my princess. Thank you. Way to get to me when she came to the city. I kept it inside the drawer. Why would you keep it inside the drawer when you know I have a jewelry box? No, I kept it inside the jewelry box. I give you 30 minutes. 30 minutes to search the entire room and get me that jewelry box with the jewelry. This does not include the monies that have been getting missing in this palace. you get this necklace? Was it before or after you were released from the cell? I, I got it last week. A friend of mine gave it to me. My princess, do you like it? My princess, you can have it. I can give it to you. Take it. What jewelry? She just woke up and said, What happened? She I don't just... know. Someone came looking for the princess. And we went out to see the person. She came back to her room and asked me to find the jewelry in 30 minutes. I don't know. Maybe she wants to give it to the girl. We are finished. We are doomed. Hey, I should have known. Should have Hey! The princess! Hey! We will be at that. The princess wants to see you now. She says I must come with you immediately. Uh, Bede, tell her I'll be with her in a jiffy. No. Now. Hey. What is happening now? Honor. Honor. Let's go. Your sword. This thing is unfair. I drop one more. You gotta go. I drop more. I'm not afraid of no one. If I if I can have such is life. 
you can come around any time. Anytime you come around, you peep through that hole, eh? we'll always see to your problems. Eh? Okay? Meanwhile, eh, take care of her. Okay, I'm going to leave her. Thank you very much. The ghost will surely reward you. Mm -mm. They will not reward you for stealing from the princess you were meant to protect as a chief maid. Well, I was doing it for the both of us. Both of us, yeah. For the both of us, Eche. You promised me you were going to get married as soon as we are relieved from our job. I was stealing from the princess and giving it to you for you to plan our wedding. Sweet melody. Because Obi. we reward you. Mm -mm, they will not reward you. See, Biko, Biko, honor. Honor. Allow me to plan myself. Let me just go and pick my pieces. Biko, go to your father's house. <laughs> I cannot go to my mother's house. So. Yeah. <laughs> Mark again. What will I tell them? That I did that made the princess relieve me of my job. Tell them everything. Tell them how you follow Eche bomba to bomba in the palace. Okay? Anyway, I'm going to go with you, Eche. Eh? I'm going with you. Anyway, I'm going with you. Me buo kwa ganya. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm going. Me buo kwa ganya. Buo manya, Eche. Buo manya. I'm going with you. <laughs> <laughs> Father, please, I want you to accept her as a maid in the palace. My jewel, what happened to Anna, your chief maid? She got me upset. And you sacked her. Now, what makes you so sure that this one would not be worse than Anna, considering her background? I can't tell, but there's something. There's a voice inside of me that says she's she's okay. She won't betray me. A voice in you. <laughs> well, my jewel. Since after I lost your mother during the birth of your mama, my primary responsibility has been to keep you happy. I think I've tried my best. All I'm saying is, think twice and be sure that this is what you want. I made my choice, Father. This is what I want. And you are sure about that? Yes, Father. Very well. You may have her then. Thank you, Father. Thank you so much. Anything for you. Now, tell me. Tell me what offense Honor and Etty committed to make you leave them of their duties. Promise you would not interfere in my judgment. My job. You have to let me know your response first before I give my words. I am still the king of this land, remember? Okay. I will tell you. Good. Eche! Eche! How could you do this to me? How could you do this to me? How could you steal from the princess to give to me? Oh! You want to send me back to the cell, right? No, you... How can you say such a thing? You know I love you and care for you. I, I should have told you not to wear it to the palace. And that's the only mistake I made. Anna said that you promised her marriage. That was what made her steal from the princess to give to you. I don't mind that fool. At her age, she's still playing the fool. I can't marry her now. Eche, I thought you were sensible. Now I know your type. I know. What have I done now? Ah, bam, 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 bam. Don't you call me your love again. Don't you call me your love again. Don't you try it. That was the same thing you were calling Anna. When you promised her marriage, now you're calling her a fool. Eh? Don't call me your, your love again. That's not what you think. It's not it. I, I, I mean it. It's not. Eche, leave my house! Leave my house! Eche, I said leave my house. Oh, oh, it's me, Eche. It's me. I have a new life at the palace. Leave my house! Leave my house. Eche, I am warning you. I don't want to push you. <laughs> Eche, I'm warning you, leave my house. Eche, leave my house, oh. Eche, leave my house, leave my house, oh. Leave my house, oh. Eche, oh. Leave my house, oh. I greet you all. Greetings, Honor, my chief maid, has been relieved of her duties, both as chief maid and as maid in this palace. I'm sure you must have caught wind of the news. But that's not the reason I called you here. If you notice, there's someone new in your midst. Not so new in the palace, but new because of the duty she's about to assume. I want you to take her as your own, coach her, 
and get along with her. If there's anything that needs my urgent attention, you know where to find me. Thank, Thank you, my, my princess. princess. You're fine, no. I can't believe that Ona just left the palace like that. As for me, I think they are paying for their sins. Serves them right. Ah, oh, Mama, please, let's forget about that. EJ, I don't like your mood. Is that why you're this gloomy? Even if the princess wants to employ a new maid, not that murderer. Iji, be cool. Lower your voice, please. Well, if you ask me, I will say the gods have chosen to favor her. Favor her? Yes, favor her. That girl, she's an opportunist. An opportunist? Yes. Why did you say that? <sighs> Before you know it now, they will make her the chief media. I will be taking orders from her. <laughs> That's your problem. Mm. Mm. You think it's funny? After all, it's both of us she would toss around. Okay. Let me ask you one question. What? Do you want to be behaved? <laughs> what? <laughs> so, what does it matter if she's made the ship media? I don't see anything wrong with it though. Or is there anything wrong with it? I want to rest. Her royal majesty, you are here lying down while we are outside walking, Abby. But, but I thought I did my portion before coming in here. And who told you that we share job in this palace? EJ, please. What? I can't remember we came here for a fight. Mm-hmm. What? Oh, oh no. Even though you were done with your bit, you should have at least waited for us a little bit before coming into the room. It's not nice now. I am I am sorry, okay? I apologize to you both. I am really sorry. I I, I didn't mean to dis disregard you both. That is what is expected for an upstart. EJ. Mm -hmm. EJ. What? She just apologized. Mm -hmm. So leave the poor girl alone. Do you know what? My problem now is that I want to sleep. And I will appreciate it if you guys will just keep quiet. Let me see if I can sleep, please. Do you know what? Get up. I want to dress the bed. Get up. Ije, what is wrong with Get you? Get up! Ije, I dressed this bed before lying on this bed. I dressed it. I what is wrong with you? I said you should get up. Are you deaf? Get up! Okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll get up. Ah, ah. Ije, easy. Sorry, no. Ije, easy. We don't want you. Easy. Ije, yeah. huh. why are you always doing this to me? I don't know what I'm now. I don't know what I'm now. Why are you always doing this to me, Ije? Why? Hold on. Just stop for you Don't mind this girl. She's a troublemaker. She's hey. a little It's not fair. No, it's I'm not, not fair. a troublemaker. Yes. Okay. Please, I want don't to worry. sleep. Okay, go sleep. Put in the worry yourself. I don't like all that. I don't like it. It's not fair. Don't mind her. How are you coping? Do you like your job? Like? <laughs> my princess, I love my job. Like is an understatement. My story is that of prison to palace. Only the gods know how grateful I am to you, my princess. I am really grateful. The gods are wise. You seem such a proper girl and I have no regrets. My princess, thank you so much. I mean, this words can send one to heaven. <laughs> I'm so grateful. I mean them. 
Just don't give anyone any reason to think I made a mistake. I understand, my princess. But I will never disappoint you. And if I do, let the earth open and swallow me. I will never do that to you, my princess. You gave me life. When I look into your eyes, I believe you. It's just that I'm wary of anyone around me, especially after Honor's birthday. I understand, my princess. So, how would you love to be chief maid? My princess. Your chief maid? I, I don't deserve this honor. I do not deserve it. I am so grateful. I, I am going to be your chief maid. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. May the gods bless you for me. Thank you so much. Thank you. That means your monthly benefit will increase. Your room will be better, and life will generally be okay for you. May the gods bless you, my princess. Thank you so much. I hope there's no new teeth in this palace. No. <laughs> no. Well, I I don't know how to say this. I don't know how to say this. Okay, fine. Start from the beginning. Or better still, begin from the ending. Okay, fine. I'll say it, okay? I'll say it. Um <laughs> I'll talk now. Okay, um, The princess just made me her She made it! I said it. Udo and Uma were laughing. Look at it now. <clears throat> oh, I'm so happy for you. You're a lucky girl. Oh. Thank lucky, you. <laughs> lucky girl, my foot. She's an opportunist. Look, girls. She has warmed her way over us. <clears throat> Let's go and answer the princess first. Till we come back. Oh my god, Udo, I'm so happy for you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so happy. I'm going up. Hello. Don't mind whatever anyone says to demoralize you. An opportunity comes but once. Once it's lost, it can never be regained. Come on, it's your turn to shine. Cheer up! I'm so happy for you! Thank you so much. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Yes! <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Greetings, my father. Mm. What was it the cabinet deliberated on for so long today? I hope the kingdom is not on fire. My jewel, this flame burns deep from the heart. I see. Same old story. What do they want you to do this time? Give them an heir to the throne. An heir to carry on with the kingdom when I'm long gone. Well, you're not going anywhere anytime soon. That I know. But all the same, my jewel, they have a point. They always have a point. And it's time we did something about it. Father, mother has been gone for so many years now. You can't keep her in your memory forever. I wish Lama was not born the way he is. There is no use crying over spilled milk. It is time to act.
My king, we understand that you love the late queen dearly and that you will choose to remain like this without taking another wife until you take your last breath. But it is unfortunate because you are the king. In our kingdom, according to our customs and our tradition, kingship is not by appointment. Kingship is not contested for. Yes. Kingship is inherited. Yes, sir. And uh, my brother and my king, Mbuse, time waits for no one. You are getting older by the day, not younger. Come to think of it. Your Highness, I wonder what will be the fate of this kingdom if anything happens to you. But may the gods forbid. Oh. Now, in that case, what do you all suggest that I do? <coughs> My king, <laughs> very simple. Marry another wife that will give you a male child that has sent you a throne mm -hmm. when you are gone. Haven't I spoken well, my elders? Love, 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 You have all spoken well. Hmm? You have all spoken well. Because I am sure you all have my good interest at heart. But there is a reason, a need for me to also consider the interest of my only princess. Remember, jealousy may set in here. Yes, of course. My brother, I agree with you. But it is natural for her to be jealous. After all, she's a young girl and she won't find it funny. Watch a young lady that could be of her age coming to the kingdom to take over her mother's position. Uh, more so, when you consider the kind of uh, relationship that is existing between both of you, I understand this, but that is by the way. Something must be done about it. And it's urgent, my king. That is true, my king. But what ought to be done? What ought to be done? to bother you, my prince, but I want to know what makes the only prince of Mbuzu kingdom unhappy. Mm. I have helped them stay in this, in this palace, but I, the great, great Alama, uh, cannot leave, leave his community as a king that I, after his father be the king, king, king has had done his ancestors. Is that what makes my prince sad? It is. It is enough for that you don't make me, make me cry. My, my prince, my, please my prince, don't let that bother you, okay? You are the only prince of this kingdom. Destiny can never be changed. Now, can my prince be happy once more? Let me sing for you, my prince.
Get me a strong drink. A very strong one. I need to drink and drown my sorrows away. But my princess, no matter what the problem may be, I mean, getting drunk will not solve the problem. It will only make matters worse. I said, get me a drink. My now! Princess Olaido. The princess of Obolo Doko Kingdom. The daughter of His Royal Highness, King Ododo the Fourth of Obododo Kingdom. You are welcome to our land. Thank you. Princess, you know why you are here. Should you become the queen of Mbuzu Kingdom, what will be your primary objective? <laughs> In my father's house, we are blessed with so many children, both male and female. And that is what I, Princess Oledo, have come to transfer to the great king of Ubuzu Kingdom. I will bear him so many children and also make him a happy man as long as he lives. Thank you. You may see. Princess Wama is my name. I'm the one and only daughter of King Uduma of Aloma Kingdom. I'm here to marry King Umbuze of Umbuzu Kingdom. And I'm here to bear him and her to his strong. And as I do that, I want him to reciprocate by establishing a cordial relationship with my people and by his power and influence to help develop my land. Thank you very much. You may sit. It is only a newborn baby that doesn't know or heard of the one and only princess Lima. The beloved daughter of King Akaloku, third of Ugwama. Thank you, Princess. We all know who you are. Why are you here? It's simple. I've come to bear him a male child. Since his dead wife was only able to give him a daughter and an incomplete son. You speak blasphemy. Shut up and get out now! Just like that. Just like that. Get out before I get the guards to throw you out. I'm a princess in my land where I come. Get out! Look at her. Foreign entity. I am Princess Uzondu of Ibube land. The only daughter of Iwendo Katsu of Ibube kingdom. Thank you, Princess Uzondu. Why are you here? I'm here to marry King Mbuze of Mbuzo Kingdom and to make up for his late wife's lapses. Would you sit down? Shut up and sit down. How dare you come here to insult the entire kingdom of Mbuzo? Imagine. I am princess. Shut up! Sit down, you silly aunt. Me too. Yes, you too. Silly aunt. Sit down. As a matter of fact, all of you get out and now. Now. What bridge? Are they from this planet? I am Princess. <laughs> My father is downcast. It is understandable after yesterday's humiliating experience. My Jew. It is Hamatan season out there. Yet, the clouds seem to gather around me. No, father. You are like an eagle that soars above the clouds like a colossus. But today, this eagle feels like a sparrow. A sparrow whose nest has been destroyed by the torrential rain. When the river is at its lowest ebb, 
the fish don't quit swimming. You are the roaring lion of Mbuzu land. How can May Jesus upset you? Tomorrow, my friend will be here. Your friend? Yes, the princess of Umula land. Ah, your friend, yes. That extraordinary deserve. And when you take her hand in marriage, the relationship between the two kingdoms will be cemented eternally. Hmm. Well, you know, I, I wonder why you have not thought about her before now. She is my friend. I'm bringing her here because the situation demands. Hmm. My jewel, you know, you are like a storm that blows good things towards his kingdom. You are a bringer of good tidings. My father's spirit will be lifted. Yes. And I very happy. Yes. <laughs> and joy. So, my dear, that is my story. And since I'm obviously not getting any younger, I know I need to get a wife that will bear me a male son who will be the heir to my throne. That is why I sent for you. I've heard you, Your Highness. But I need to have a word with my friend privately before getting back to you. Very well then. That'll be alright. Thank, Thank you, Your Highness. You're welcome, Princess. I'll be back. Princess, I'm sure you're wondering why I said I wanted to see you privately. Exactly. <sighs> I'll go straight to the point. Your father wants an heir. That is why I sent for you. Because you are my friend. And I see you as someone who is responsible and wise. I need you to help me. God, my father's throne. That settles it. You get what you want, and I equally get what I want. How do you mean? Come on, princess. You don't expect me to marry your father and give him an heir just like that. I know you have a strong bond with your father. I marry your father, and tomorrow, you throw me out of the palace. What becomes of my fate? How could you think of such a thing? Let's face facts. You know it's true. I'm not saying I won't marry your father for the sake of our relationship, but I want you to give me something in return. You know, I'm talking about my security here. What? Now you're talking. I'll marry your father on the condition that he crowns me the queen as soon as we get married. That is settled. If you marry my father, you automatically become the queen of Mbuzu kingdom. Uh, okay, that's nice to know, but that's not all. What again? I want 10 acres of land from the land at the boundary between your kingdom and my kingdom. The gods of my father. Princess, that's still not all. I want you to tell your father to give me one-fifth of Umbuzu Kingdom's treasure as a gift. Then, I will marry him and give him an heir to the throne of Umbuzu Kingdom. Nguido, you are not different from the rest of them all. Come on, princess. I'm being practical here. Let's face it. Your father dies. A stranger ascend his throne, and what becomes of your fate? Ibiri, think. Think. Chidi me 
My prince, I have kept your food. Okay. Thank you very much. My prince, you don't need to thank me. It's my obligation to serve you as long as I'm in this palace. Hello. My prince. Yeah. You're not the only, only maid in this, this palace. Yeah. You, the tire has, as long as you can to, 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 to make me happy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you eh? You're welcome, my prince. But please, my prince, stop thanking me for discharging my duties. <laughs> Come, my prince. Come and have his meal now. <laughs> Since morning, Princess Nguedo left. My princess, tears will not solve the problem. It will only make it worse. You don't understand. You won't understand. Listen, my princess. There you go. I understand everything. I understand your stand in this issue. And I feel your pains and fears. My princess, I want you to understand that the gods decide our destinies before we were even born. Though we have to try our best, but we can never run faster than our shadows. My princess, I want you to wipe your tears. Tomorrow will take care of itself. My princess, if you're like this, how do you want the king to be? You're supposed to be his strength in times like this. My princess, I beg you, please wipe your tears and get yourself together. Okay? You speak with so much wisdom. For your age and background, I'm impressed. Thank you, Thank you my princess. You have taught me a lot of wisdom since I started saving you in this palace as a maid. I owe you the credit. I just want to see my father. Okay. She might as well ask for the entire kingdom. That was what I thought at first, and I told her so. But on a deeper reflection, I came to the conclusion that destiny is one thing mortals do not have control over. What do you mean? You really think I should do that? If we don't, we will be ridiculed. If we do, we just have to wait for the gods to guide us. And we'll put this thing behind us once and for all. But my chiefs... But they don't have to know. We feed them what they chew. Life is hard. Destinies are inevitable. My princess, they'll soon be here. Good morning, my princess. Good morning, my princess. Good morning. Good morning. How's your day? Good I called you all here to help in preparing a very special meal for three in 30 minutes. That will be all. Mm -hmm. You may now leave. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Mm -hmm. No. 
always came back to help me with something. talking about all this time. <laughs> EJ, what is it again this time? What is it again? Hmm. Can't you see that that opportunist have finally succeeded in buying the princess heart? EJ, let me ask you. What is it that this girl did to you in this palace? Every time Ola did this, Ola did that. What is it? Just listen to yourself, you fool. Me? Yes. Fool? Yes. Look at this primitive swine. Are you mad? <laughs> Hey. Wait, 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 EJ, do you realize that in this life, some people are more likable than the others? Okay, hmm. what you're trying to say is that she's more likable than me, eh? Exactly. Some people are more likable than others. So stop prognosing into people's affairs and mind your business. That is how you keep complaining. Honor did this. Honor did that. Honor. Shut up! Mm. At least what I suspected was the truth. Hmm? She finally turned out to be the thief in this palace. Well, EJ, it is not going to work for you this time around concerning Olo. Ah. Yes. Just wait and see. Can we just stop this craze and do the work assigned to us by the princess? I wonder. She gave us 30 minutes and we've been rambling like mad women. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> mad. Ah. No, 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 calm down. I like said it. Minutes. Umma, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Fiji, calm down. I'll not be fine. Calm down, relax. Besides, we have something to do. We're here talking. It is no longer news that the king has taken a new wife and queen in the person of Princess Nguedo, who is also my friend. I summoned you all here to formally introduce her to you. She is your queen. You're welcome, You're welcome my lady. Thank you all. I am happy to be a part of this great kingdom. I have come in peace. And in pursuit of a goal, we all share together, which is to move this palace forward. I pledge my cooperation, and I ask that you cooperate with me so that peace and harmony will reign in the palace as the gods blesses us with long life and prosperity. Thank you all. Thank, Thank you, my queen. Gods, you may leave. Maids, stay. Thank, Thank you, my princess. Thank, Thank you, my lady. Now, the lady will choose who amongst you she desires to be her chief maid. My lady. My princess. That will not be necessary. I find your chief maid interesting. Ulo? Yes. I want her. As you please. I elevate Udo to Ulo's position. Thank you, my lady. You may leave. What? What is it, Kaka? 
You can't get speak. Speak to us! Or you're about to be cost. Oh yes. Our ears are open. You may go. When I'm elder, he grinding the molars of his teeth. You know that something is happening in the spirit realm. No. Okay. What is it? My king, she get back to his little boy. Hey! No! Ha! Mbam! Abambu! Otunogwe! Abambu! Otunogwe! Oh, girls of my sisters. Why? Why do you have fist me with such pain? In fact, just keep these things. There's no need cooking. Is my lady dead? Don't be ridiculous. Are you wishing her dead? But Udo just said there's no need cooking. Udo, what's the matter? She gave back to a steel ball. Hi. Because of our land. Why? Hey. Anyway, she still needs to eat. At least something came out from her body, whether dead or alive. Chai, thank the gods, she has her life. At least she'll still give birth to another baby that will stay. You know, the most painful thing is that the baby is a boy. Chai, it's a pity. But that is life for you. In life, you don't get what you expect. Iji, hmm? can you? At least put on a sorry face for once. Mm. And who do I say sorry to? You? Oh, sorry. Huh? You say sorry. Ah, ah! What is it? You have a big problem. A very big problem. God forbid. Come out of here. Go. Listen, my lady must be very hungry right now. Okay, hurry, 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 hurry. Hurry. Where's the other, where's the other knife? Hurry now. I said hurry. You're just looking at me. Hurry. You just delivered a baby. Please, my lady, I beg you. Eat something. Ulu. Don't remind me of that again. I'm sorry, my lady. Has she eaten? No, my princess. Where's her food? Right here. Leave us. Thank you, my princess. What are you trying to do to yourself? That you gave birth to a stillborn child is not reason enough for you to cry and starve yourself to death. <laughs> Why me? Why me, Princess? Why we me? cannot question the gods and we do. For they know what is best for us. You have to get up, eat something, take your bath, and put on a sweet smelling fragrance. Forget about yesterday and look up to tomorrow. Tomorrow is unpredictable. We do not know what it has in store for us. My king, yes. she has to finish the with the herbs I've given her already. And once she conceives again, I'll start administering new herbs to her. 
which will help to stabilize both her body and that of the unborn baby, to avoid giving back to stillborn again. Well, whatever you need to do to prevent all those previous occurrences uh, is what I'm after, Ikra. Igwe, on a map, I know what is okay. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Good, well, that's what I pray. My it's nice to see you up and about radiant again. Mm. All thanks to my princess. Thank you, my jewel. I'm just doing my job, father. Right, right. So where are you up to? We just want to take a walk. We'll soon be back. Good. But make sure you don't go too far. Father, I promise to bring your wife back to you in good health. <laughs> <laughs> my king, it's good to see that my princess and my lady are best known. Yeah, yes. But we will say something about the house. Uh, my lady, sir. Yes. Good. You went in a towel, but there's you. Something troubles the ego. Nigeria, only the lies the head that wears the crown. And this crown is getting heavy by the minute. Hmm. Is there something I have missed out? Do you ever miss anything in this kingdom? Her time is near. You surprise me, my father. Instead of you to rejoice in anticipation of what is about to happen, you worry your head over nothing. Ah, old memories are hard to remember. Getting any My father, where lies your faith? The gods could just be testing you for this time. My dear, it is difficult for men to determine the minds of the gods. You have been a faithful ruler of our land. The gods are not blind. But the ways of God are not the ways of men. We know the ways of the gods are not the ways of men, but it's their duty to guide us. And you know they are wise. My job. I wish I could share from your optimism. But it's difficult. Brighten up, my father, for I see silver linings in the sky. And you are the eagle that rules from the sky. I can't sleep. The baby won't let me. It's a pity, my lady. But the baby is fine. Yeah. Why are you still awake at this time of the night? Well, I, I was sleeping. So I got up to ease myself and decided to come and check on you. I'm just restless. I don't know how I'm feeling. The past refuses to go. My lady, you worry too much. You worry too much. Do you say I worry too much? Yes, my lady. How can you say that? Look at me. I'm heavy with my fifth pregnancy. And I have no child. Not even want to show for it. And you say I worry too much? How am I even sure that this one won't die before bed like the others? My gods won't allow that happen, my lady. I have a feeling that this will be a different story. I pray that the gods will have mercy. And show me favor so that this one can stay. Because I don't think I will put through if anything should happen to this one. I, I don't think so. My lady, you need to go to bed. See, okay, you have to just. 
try and sleep. Let me help you. Matthews, I have heard scores of stories about the white man's ways and their strange behaviors, which is why I decided to deal with them myself. I have rejected any idea of white of middle man. Truth, Your Majesty. Okay. It's good to deal with them straight. Because I heard that huh, this white man, they buy everything from ivory to Escape. What is wrong? Who is this? Mba? Who is this strange looking fellow? Irian and Ariaman. Your Majesty. We found him roaming about the palace. We demanded to know his true identity, but he appears to be dumb. What is your name, young man, and where are you from? Mm. Look at him. He looks like a lunatic. Is he really? He could be pretending. That how how do we know? How do we know if he has not come to spy on Muzulan? Yes. You should work. You should work. Well, take him to the guard room. I will deal with this case later. Yes, sir. We have a gentleman as well. Oh. This word was a strange element. Father, if you send the Prime Minister, will he know the ways of the white man? Because the middlemen from the coast know their ways and their language. Hmm. You know, my Joel, you're always one step ahead of us. But then, if we let the middlemen do this, will they better represent our interests? We'll send someone with them, someone who will learn their ways and their language. Mm. Your Majesty, our ladyship is in labor. She's in labor, Your Majesty. Go back to her at once. I'll send for the midwives. Okay, my Majesty. Yes, Your Majesty. Someone has a nurse. Yes, Your Majesty. I, I wonder what is keeping Agbara and uh, Ikenga. Father, don't worry. They will soon be here. I, I did not keep him too long. In no time, they will be here. Yes, yes. My king, I went to Ikenga's house and when I got there, I didn't meet anybody there. So I decided to go to the farm. Yes. As soon as I got to the farm, I met Ikenga's wife. She told me that Ikenga left for Obwendida for an urgent meeting, my king. Obwendida? Yes, my princess. Which means he's not supposed to return until in three days' time. Huh? I don't know, my king. I don't know. Huh. But you, you may leave. Thank you, my king. You will soon smile. Yes. He's, uh, he's becoming a little too difficult to breathe now. Don't scare me, my father. You will be fine. I don't intend to, my dear. Not again. Oh, why? Father, Father, please help me. Help me do something. Father, Father. My Father, no. No, please come. I don't know what is wrong with my name. Please just come with me, please. Oh, God. Oh, Father, Father. Why are you shouting? Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Hi! 
Why are you shouting? I'm feeling something. What is happening in the palace? I'm feeling something. Here is short. Something serious is about to happen, bro. So, you can talk. Eh? So you can talk. Come, come. Talk. Hey! Wonder shall never end. So you can talk. Talk to me. What is happening in the palace? Is there a war or something? Just tell me. Please, mister. The king is at the verge of death. The great medicine man, the king, is out of the kingdom. As you can see, I don't have time to entertain question and answer. Please, I beg you in the name of the gods. Tell me, what is wrong with the king? Just tell me, what is wrong with the king? Why all these questions? Eh? Why all these questions? So, what if I tell you now? What will you do about the situation? I can cure the king. I can cure him. You? Or is there any other person inside the cell that will help you cure the king? You just called me master now. I'm a master. Who called you master? Okay, let's do it this way. Eh? Allow me out. Let me go and see about the situation. If I did not cure the king, I swear to God. Eh? Take me here, stab me, kill me, throw me, vomit me, quench, do anything, use me. Listen to me. You say you can cure the king. You said you can cure the king, right? You can cure the king. Okay, you wait. Eh? I will be back. Are you taking eh? me back to the cell? Ban me before I'm begging. Are you looking at me? Let me go. I, will, I want to let me go. go. I'm begging now. I want. I'll, I'll have to go in. Wait, just a minute. I'll be back. Father, please stay with me. Please. Don't go, please. Father, stay with me. Is there no one in this village that knows about herbs apart from Ikenga? My princess. Shut up and stop calling me. Do something. Yes, my princess. My princess. Is the king back? No, my princess. But there is someone else who said he can kill the king. The gods of my father, this is conspiracy. No, my princess, it's the prisoner. Which prisoner? The one that was caught wandering. He doesn't talk. Yes, my princess, but he spoke to me in the cell. Shut up. Go and get him fast. Now. Fast. Yes, yes my princess. Shut up. Go! This my princess. Will you do something? Shut up and go Oh good. Father. My father. What are you all doing there? Disappear! Father. Father, please stay with me, please. Yeah, he is my princess. Are you the one that said he can cure my father? I thought you said he spoke to you. Yes, my princess. He, he spoke to me in the cell. Whatever. Just tell him to get to work immediately. Tell him I also said he should not use my father for experiment. If he doesn't know what to do, he should back off while there's still time. Or I will feed him to the dogs. Yes, my princess. Walk him. Get to work. Fast. I got my corona. If I'm a You have to hold yourself. You have lost so much blood due to bleeding. And the nurse said you have to calm down so you won't bleed again. Why did she stop it? My lady. He should have allowed me to bleed to death. My lady. That is what I deserve. Oh, my lady, no. <laughs> I have failed in my, in my duty and responsibility to my lord. My lady, you have not failed. You have life, and that is all that matters. Yes, my lord, no. He's in his chamber. <laughs> At this time of the day, my lady, when my lord heard about the news of the delivery, he passed out. <laughs> I said it. I said it. I said it. I said it. No, my lady. I brought so much pain to this palace and I deserve to die. No, no, my lady. You don't deserve to die. May the gods forbid that. My lady. Everyone in the palace knew that you conceive. And you carry your child till childbirth. Why can't I carry my, my kids? I have to 
your child birth. Why? You will, my lady. You, you will, my lady. Why? Very soon. I got my corona. If I am on a phone, I got my baggage. Wrap up for a month. Why am I here? We must see the way. We must see him to know his state. Um, yes, he is our king. And we are his cabinet chiefs. If anyone is supposed to be inside there, it should be us. Well, I am sorry, my chiefs. The medicine man warned that he does not want crowd inside the chamber. Hmm? Are you calling us crowd? This boy is insulting us. Too. No, <laughs> no, my chief, he's not insulting us. That what? Uh, brother, it's instruction given to him. Yes, we must exercise patience. After all, the medicine man will not be there till eternity. So we wait. Get that in there, boy. Oh, I don't know, my boy. My boy, who is the medicine man? Peter, I don't know. I don't know his name. I don't know his village. Just wait a minute. He will soon be out, and then you will ask him yourself. And where was I going there? Please, please, let's wait. Huh? We must not leave here until we see the king. Is he very? I know where Where is the princess? Well, the princess is inside. We need to see her. My chiefs, let's wait. <laughs> He's not yet up. Patience. Where is my jewel? I'm, I'm right here, my father. Take my hand. I was nearly demented with worry. For a moment, I thought I had lost you forever. Thank the gods you pulled through. Oh, it's okay. I'm here now. What was that? Just allow him to rest. He will soon get up. Okay, mister. Let's go back. Go where? To the cell, of course. Are you out of your mind? Would you take him to the boys' room? My princess, what if he escapes? He won't escape. What, my, my princess? Would you shut up and do as I have said? Yes, my princess. I got my corona. You find a moon I fall. I got my baggage. Wrap up for four above. Why am I there? Why is he care? He am boo boo Udo, you're still awake? Yes, my princess. I went to your room, but I couldn't find you. My princess, it's dark and lonely here. It's just what I need. <laughs> my princess, you've had a very long day today. You should go to bed and rest. You must be very tired now. Yes, I am. But... I can't sleep. Even if I forced myself, I still would not be able to sleep. You can, my princess. How can I sleep when my father is lying there? What if he doesn't wake up? The gods forbid. My king will sure arise. What if he doesn't, Udo? My princess, he will. Where is your fate? I wish I could change destiny. I wish I could be a maid. Someone of lesser burden and responsibility. I wish I were a commoner. I wish I didn't have cares. I wish I was a child who didn't have anything to worry about, just to eat, sleep and play. 
My princess, everything will be fine. The gods know best, my princess. Please, you can go to bed now. I have heard you. You may leave. Please don't swallow me. Huh? It's still very early. This one you woke us up early this morning. Is everything alright? You guys did not serve dinner last night, or did you? Hey. Why are you not in this palace? Did you see what happened in this palace yesterday? Who remembered food? Listen, I am very, very hungry. Okay? You guys know that I don't play with my stomach. Eh? Makosa! Can I touch it now? You should be ashamed of yourself. The king and the wife is sick. And you're here talking about food this early morning. Look at this one. Though. Why would I talk about food? Eh? Why would I talk about food? Am I a prisoner? Even the prisoner slept on a good bed last night. And you are here telling me I should not talk about food. Eh? Mary, will I swallow you? Which prisoner slept on the good bed? The one that revived the king? Or is there any other prisoner in this palace? Hmm. That's another opportunist. Sneaking in little by little. Wait. Who is an opportunist? Who? We are EJ. Please. It's okay. We've had enough chaos in this palace already. I don't want you to stir up another problem. Please. Uh -huh. Ede. Go. I'll get your food. Leave. Be calm. As we move. Come. Mma or whatever you call yourself. I am giving you five minutes. Five minutes. Mm. If after five minutes I do not see my food, I bear me back home on Yempewazo. Go, I'm, I'm bringing food for you. Just leave. Go. Go now. Hey. 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 It's good to see you back and strong. I'm going to We thank our God so. May the God be praised. And me too. Don't be frank. I was not afraid. I was not shaking. Because I know you will surely come. I'm a man. I'm a man. So I'm a man. My own brother and kid. Thank you. The ego of our generation. Thank you. I thank every one of you. I thank you very much for standing by me for that hard period. <laughs> and I feel that our ancestors and the gods are reward you immensely. And you do, do, do my king. You do my king. Fuck it. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. We understand you are just recovering. There is a matter that needs immediate attention. Uh, uh, what would that matter be, my chiefs? It is about your condition. We, your cabinet chiefs, are not happy. We would like you to dread this with urgency. Come. My king, we suggest that you take another wife to give you an heir. Since your cabinet <coughs> failed, my chiefs, you were the ones who pressurized me into buying this one. Now you are suggesting that I am not enough. Yes. Ah, I am sorry to disappoint you. Because I will not live with two women under the same roof. Mm -hmm. Now, Igwe, you have to see reasons with us. Your Highness, may God forbid you. Had it been that something happened to you the period you were sick, what do you think would be the fate of this king? Think about it. 
So, uh, are you suggesting that I send our packet? Yes, my king. There are times you do things you would rather not have done. That's why you're the king. You present the second of Umbuzu kingdom for that matter. Mm. Huh? Huh? And the kingdom is more than you, my king. Yes. It's because of that. Yes. Why are you pleading? My brother. My chiefs. But the queen and I have just recovered. No? Now this is not fair. We will give you time. We will give you time. Mm. Because this dream can never and must never be left empty. Else, this kingdom will go the way of a right land. You are the dumb lunatic who saved me from death, are you not? Your Majesty, my King, I did not save you from death. That's the business of the gods. I only applied herbs to revive you, Your Majesty. Hmm. You speak so well too. Yet, you acted dumb when you first arrived amidst us. Your Majesty, is in my tradition to act that way in a strange land. That way you determine the hearts of the people. Strange. I mean, your tradition is strange. Yet, you are a man of unusual capabilities. Your Majesty, capabilities are bestowed by the gods. I have traveled many lands. I've seen many traditions. But the gods are faithful. Your Majesty, you will realize what I'm saying when you see what I've seen. Stranger, you are so young for all you claim to know. Who are you? Greetings, Your Majesty. Ah, rise, young lady. Is that ladyship okay? Very well, Your Majesty. Good. It's just that the princess is a bit feverish. Oh. Mm. Is it not a wonder that at these times of need, the Kenga is no longer with us? Your Majesty, my King, permit me to attend to her. Yes, go at once and report back to me. Thank you, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. When did you start? Only this morning. My princess, how are you doing? Cold inside and hot outside. This kind of fever is caused by anxiety and restlessness, my princess. Set your spirits free, my princess. I shall go to the forest and get some herbs to rest your nerves. A sound sleep and you awake like a bouncing baby. Hmm. Thank you. That's very nice of you. What are you called, stranger? Ada. Where are you from? A land far away. A full moon walk. Does it have a name? Omar land. A few days walk from the sea. Hmm. Have you seen white men? Several. But I'd rather not see them. Why? Nobody likes them. Why? They are cannibals. They catch a man, put them in a boat across the sea, where they are being eaten. Hmm, that's horrible. Don't they have animals and fishes in their land? They are strange breed, my oppressors. So, why are you here? It's a long story, my oppressors. Start from somewhere. I'm a wanderer. I wandered away from my home in search of words. I don't even know. After a terrible war. What caused the war? Royal Tozu. The evil of men, catching men and selling them to cannibalistic white man. Mm. 
You are indeed a strange man. Run along and get the herbs. I'm at your service, my precious. I'm here to thank you for setting me free. I am here to thank you for saving my father. Thank you, my precious. Buzer, my brother. I chose to call him Buzer. Not as a mark of disrespect. But to remind you that will come from the same great grandparents. I am close to you more than all these other chiefs in your cabinet. I want to tell you, my brother, that some of these your chiefs may even be happy for your predicaments. They even wish you to remain like this so that when you join your ancestors, their children, or even themselves, may start vying for the kingship of this kingdom. But this is not supposed to be so. Your father, after securing very large areas of land, the entire kingdom came together and crowned him the Mbuzewan of Mbuzu Kingdom. And passed the rule. May they rule that his descendants will always rule this community. Just listen. Eh? Unless in a case where nobody shows interest from your descendants, then shall the kingdom, entire kingdom, select somebody to remain on the throne. Ude. Please, let this not end in your era. Ude. We will not be happy with you. Ude. All of this is common knowledge. Oh, you know all this, my brother. And you want it to end in your era. What do you want me to do? Hmm? Have I not tried enough, Ude? My king, your trials are not enough. Please, try harder. Give us a hair. Ude. My king. Ude, my brother. My king. I have chosen not to marry two wives at a time. I will not do that. I it will be very unfair now for me to send her away. Or do not mm. mm. Hey, I will suggest to you, my brother. Please. Please. I mean, divorce your wife traditionally. And marry another woman who will give us an heir to the throne. If we lose the kinship now, it might not, we will not get it again. We may not be able to regain it again. Please. Eh? And if it ends in your error, my brother, we will not be happy with you. Strange one at like that. What makes you so uneasy? The pressure on me is enough to uproot a palm tree. Send her away and marry her air breeder is the order of the day. Father, someday you will find a solution to it. What's on your mind? Too many and nothing. It's all so confusing. Confusion reigns in the affairs of man 
when the gods are silent or ill disposed. I feel so sorry for us because Nguido is my friend. I brought her here in the bowels of friendship. Yes, my child. I understand. I do understand. Sending her away now in her condition would be unfair. But the continuity of the kingdom and my lineage beckons. This is why I told you earlier that I am a failure. I'm a total failure. That's that, that's what I am. Please don't talk like that, my lady. Please, I beg you. I wasn't going to keep this away from you. My lady, this news is everywhere, even outside the palace walls. My lady, you know we have been friends before you even got married to the king. I'm just telling you this for you to plan against tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow. It's not tomorrow for me. I have no tomorrow to plan for. My lady, my lady, listen. You cannot determine bad market in the morning. You still have the afternoon and the evening. My lady, you're in the morning stage of your life. You still have the afternoon and evening stages of your life. My lady, you have to sit up and stop acting like one who has lost everything in life. After all, you have a royal blood flowing in your vein, my lady. Yes, I know. This is my husband's house. This is where I should call my own. But what have I got? What have I got? I've lost it all. I'm in total failure. I'm a loser. I told you I'm a failure. I'm a total failure. You have I'm a loser. to stop, my lady. You have to stop, please, okay? You have to stop. You can't be like this. You have to stop crying and brace yourself up and act like one that has faith. My lady, my princess demands your presence. Well, tell her that. She will join her soon. Very gloomy. I hope all is well. I'm good, my princess. There is no need beating about the bush. I'm sure you must have gotten wind of the news about the cabinet chiefs and their resolution about your stay in this palace. I want to assure you that you're not alone. I let you into this. And I will not leave you in the middle of the deep blue sea. All I need from you right now is your cooperation. I understand how you feel. That is why I have consulted trusted chiefs and elders of our land to see how we can resolve this issue so as to save our faces and the throne of our land. All I need is your cooperation so that we can rule this palace to a safe land. My princess, what do you want me to do? It may sound absurd, but trust me, I think it's the right thing to do. My princess, what do you want me to do?
Her ladyship is surely in grief. May I ask, what grace her ladyship? May I ask, what brings tears to the eyes of her ladyship? Life is cruel. Living in this palace as queen. You ought to look ahead in faith towards tomorrow. Today will surely come to pass. At sundown, no matter is torture. But what have I done? What have I done to deserve this? Now they want me to do the impossible. The absurd. My lady, you have to be strong. Please, you really have to stay strong. I mean, it is clear why the princess told you this thing in secret. No. No. I won't do it. I will not do it. I won't. Calm down, my lady. Please calm down. The pitch darkness of the night can never stop the morning from coming. They are captives of tradition. But I, Princess Nguedo, will not do what they ask. I will not. My queen, I mean, my queen, we are slaves too. I am not a slave to anything. I will not be a slave to a to, to, to a tradition that is that is ridiculous and inhuman. I will not. No. My queen. Is it that bad? Yes. It is bad and ugly. Their tradition. Their tradition. My tradition, my lady. Your stupid tradition. Only allows your king to marry women from the same womb. How can? Listen, my queen. You really have to calm down. Please, you just have to calm down. I beg of you. Please, you have to do this. Please calm down. Get out. Get out. I will not succumb. And I will not run away. <laughs> <laughs> but I will fight. I will. F I will. F I will fight. <laughs> Her ladyship is surely in grief. May I ask? What grace, her ladyship? May I ask, what brings tears to the eyes of her ladyship? Life is cruel. Living in this palace as queen. You ought to look ahead in faith towards tomorrow. Today will surely come to pass. At sundown, no matter is torture. But what have I done? What have I done to deserve this? Now they want me to do the impossible. The absurd. My lady, you have to be strong. Please, you really have to stay strong. I mean, it is clear why the princess told you this thing in secret. No. No. I won't do it. I will not do it. I won't. Calm down, my lady. Please calm down. The pitch darkness of the night can never stop the morning from coming. They are captives of tradition. But I, Princess Nguedo, will not do what they ask. I will not. My queen, I mean, my queen, 
We are slaves too. I am not a slave to anything. I will not be a slave to a to, to, to a tradition that is that is ridiculous and inhuman. I will not. No. My queen. Is it that bad? Yes. It is bad and ugly. Their tradition. Their tradition. My tradition, my lady. Your stupid tradition. Only allows your king to marry women from the same womb. How can? Listen, my queen. You really have to calm down. Please, you just have to calm down. I beg of you. Please, you have to do this. Please calm down. Get out. Get out! I will not succumb. And I will not run away. <laughs> but I will fight. I will I will I will fight. My lady, if I may wish to say, the battles is for the gods. Get out. I spoke with her last night, but she's yet to get back to me. Well, give her time. It's not an easy decision to make, you know. I know. I pray she agrees to what we talked about. I just don't want my lady to be sent away from this palace. She has tried for us. I quite agree with you, I do. But I'm not getting any younger. An age consumes me by the day. Father, you're still as young as, and as strong as the eagle. I just wish Ulama was not born the way he is. We wouldn't have come to all this. Father, the gods know best. I present you sent for me. Yes, I did. I don't know how I'm feeling right now. How do you feel? I have pains all over my body. My legs are too heavy for me to walk and my back aches. Are you feeling feverish or do you have headache? I'm not feeling feverish, neither do I have a headache. I'm just, I just don't know how I feel. What do I take? Um, you don't need any help. I'm afraid it's fatigue. So, I'm just going to stay like this, remain like this all day. What you need is a massage. And I can't massage you. Please, my presence, can you ask one of your maids to? Why can't you massage me? I thought you wouldn't want me to. Go on, do it. What? Do it, it's an order. What? You have to remove your cloth and tie a wrapper so that I can massage you well. All right, turn around. No, let me leave. I'll... Turn around. Chidi me zelo wa ne pulo 
you have an oil? On the table. <laughs> It's been a week since I spoke to you in my chambers and I told you to revert back to me and you haven't done that. I sent Udo to you repeatedly but you kept telling her you were going to get back to me which you haven't. I'm not feeling fine. That was what you said and I sent Atta to you and he told me three days ago that you're feeling much better. Well he told you I'm fine but I own my body so I should be the one to tell if I'm okay or not. How many minutes will it take for you to come to my chambers? Since I couldn't come, you should have come. I can't believe this. Well, you had better believe it, princess. Because in as much as you are the king's daughter, I am his wife. What do you think about what I told you? I'm still working on it. You're still working on it? Yeah. I'm taking my time. We don't have time! You don't get to tell me that because I have to take my time. You've told me what you want. Watch me do my thing. How and when I do it is none of your business. Are you sure you're alright? Yes. I'm fine. No, that is not the Nguedo that I know. No. A woman that has lost five babies can, she can easily get irritated and snipe at any little thing. Udo, you do not understand. You needed to have seen and heard the way she spoke to me. I believe she still needs more time. Just give her a little time. My princess, he is here with me. Thank you. You can go to sleep. You sent for me, my princess. Yes, Atta. Sit. I can't sleep. I don't know what the problem is. What with me? Family matters. If you insist. But in case you have so many questions in your life and you need answers to, I know of a man who delivers into the future. He can help you with answers to so many questions in your life. Who is this man? I met him during my transit. 
actually he was the one who showed me so many herbs and their uses. He taught me a lot. Why did you leave him? I did not leave this man. He asked me to leave that my destiny does not lie with him in that bush. Where did he say your destiny lies? I'm so sorry, my presence. It's private and personal. Where does it stay? In a boundary between Obwendida and Amuike. What? Obwendida? That's Ye a two day journey from here. Yes, my presence. Okay. I will think about it, but. I need you to massage me so I can relax. At your service, my presence. Oh. <laughs> but, <laughs> seriously, my friends, my father always said that the cockatiel is a very cunning and tricky animal. <laughs> <laughs> And then, and then. <laughs> you know, my father used to say that the tortoise knew he had no name and he wanted to maneuver the other animals. So he had to think of one name and he gave himself Ainini. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning all of us. So he could monopolize whatever came for other animals. And he never knew that the other animals were planning seriously for him to deal with him, especially the birds. So they came to one very big feast they were all attending, and the tortoise came there and they dealt and dealt and dealt with him. <laughs> My prince, I am sorry to interrupt you. The queen sent for all of you. Get that! Get that! Get that! Get that! Get that! This is the only print of the uh, uh, kingdom. Pens. Oh, I don't know. Get, 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 get that! May you live long, my prince. Get, get that! Get that! Oh, my prince, please. Can I go and see her to know why she seeks my attention? Mm -mm, I'll mm -mm. come back to you immediately. Mm -mm. I beg you, my prince. Mm -mm. Please. Mm -mm. Look, Alma. Mm -hmm. The finest. Mm -hmm. The <laughs> most handsome prince in this land. <laughs> The finest prince in this land. <laughs> please, I beg you, my prince. Let me go, please. I beg you. Okay. Okay, right. I, I will you. Oh, I'll yeah. be back. Oh, yeah. Just remember the tortoise. <laughs> oh, yeah. I will tell you. No. Hmm? What is it? Did the nightmare again? Who was it this time? Oh, Ije, please. Not again. Huh? This your nightmare is becoming too much. It was the king. He died in my dream. Ije, I told you to meet Tata before he traveled with the elders to give you some herbs for this your fever. He's getting out of hand though. I pray it's fever. This is the third time I'm having this nightmare. It's fever. You need some herbs urgently before it gets into your brain. <laughs> or maybe it's high blood pressure. You have fever, that's just your problem. Let's go back, let's get back to sleep. Uda told me that they traveled, but she did not tell me where they traveled to. She lied. Yes. I, I suspected that. Who knows where they went on this time? I suspect foul play. I think it has something to do with me. My lady, you have to calm down. No, seriously. You have to calm down, please. Lady, how oh, come I'm not, I'm not distracting anything? Yes, 
You just interrupted my conversation. Uh, okay, who's your maid? Uh, and what could it be with? Uh, discussing with? With, with, with your maid in or just such a lot to me. It is none of your business. I I thought she was she, she was free. I I wanted to uh, borrow borrow her. Oh, no, uh, I'm busy right now, but I'll join you when I'm done. Okay. Uh, I'm looking for you in my room. Oh, okay. uh, my lady. For for what? For the director. I'm right there. My room. <laughs> what won't I see in this palace?
your king has so many questions in his mind and he needs answers to all of them like still sicknesses in the palace and many other things happening in Buzo kingdom he cannot explain he is afraid that he may die one day and a stranger will come and take over the throne of his father the fair one this is why he sent us. I know. I know. I wonder what I was saying in Ankete. Give me some minutes. Ati himself. The great Ati himself. You have all the time. I know something. I can request like any other. I did. My king, it was a long time ago when your father was trying to make sure he retained his greatness. He bought a slave, a grown young man. And that man was buried alive, exactly where you are seated. That young man cried until he was covered to the mother. Oh, my brother. Richard, now that we know this, what is the solution? Atu guru madu guado, atu kerizi hige budechi. Your Majesty, rituals, rituals, sacrifices will be made to cleanse the kingdom. How is she? She has been sleeping since morning due to the herbs that I gave to her. My jewel. Then why are you like this? I don't know, I'm just tired. You're tired? But what did you do? I'll be fine. Yes, yes. By the gods, you shall be fine. I heard your good weight, body massage. I feel pain all over my body. I want you to massage my body. I'll massage you, my lady. Good. So? Lie down on your belly. Do you have oil here? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Come on. I 
should come up. Yes, come up. The Philippines, all over here. My chief maid, who rushed to my chambers when she did. Hey, this, 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 this beast, this animal would have ripped me your wife, Father, the queen. Father, I don't believe this. Princess, are you saying I'm lying? Ah, princess. Yes, Ulo. My lord, ask Ulo. She, she, she was there. Ask her if, if I'm lying or, 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 or telling the truth. But, Joel, uh, if Ulo is a witness to this, they cannot put the lie. I mean, I understand that this stranger here has saved several lives, including mine, I must say. But it doesn't mean he will not get punished for committing such an evil act. I told you to rape a woman. My wife! My queen! Atta, say something. My princess, what else do you want me to say? If I say I did it, the king will punish me. And if I say I didn't do it, the king will still punish me. So let the king decide on what to do. Father. Don't father me, Abiri. Do not father me. Guards! Your Majesty. Come on, take this thing out of my palace. You're an animal. Attack. <coughs> so the cough and vomiting still persists. Mm. Mm. Eh? I'll be fine. Please just check on my father for me, please. What do we call this? Let me see the king. I'll be back soon. You can see a You Yes, no, 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 My king will be well. She's getting better. She wants you to get well as soon as possible. Yes. <clears throat> Sorry. Let's make sure she's okay. She's fine. You are our only concern for now. I'll go to the bush and collect uh, more herbs for the pains and the high fever. My king, you should think less for now. Hmm? Mission. I pray nothing happened to my person. 
That is everyone's prayer. Ada? Ada? Please, I beg you of one thing. Allow me to go to the bush and get the house. I will give it to you to give to them. I swear to the gods, I will not even disclose it to any being. Well, I cannot do that. I mean, what if you don't return? Eh? You know the one? Oh, Eddie, so you cannot even predict what I, Ada, can do. <laughs> Look at you. Me, Eddie, a karikate can predict you after you were attempted to break my lady. Oh, See, God. I will never predict anybody. I will never predict anybody. Oh, so you also believe I did it? <laughs> Atta, so why would my lady lie against you? Tell me. <laughs> soon, very soon, you will understand, my boy. I pray nothing happens to my presence and my king. Nothing will happen to them. Okay? How is my king and the princess? Oh, they are doing very well this morning. In fact, the both of them are in the king's chambers catching up. Oh, thanks to the gods of our land, which means my herbs really work. Yeah, seriously worked. Can I see them? Uh, uh, no, now. You, you can't. Maybe you have to go and come back in the evening. But I have some house for them. No, it's okay. You can give them to me. Tell me what to do and I'll ask them to prepare. This is for the princess. It's for Prince and Regina um, and Tika. Okay. And <coughs> okay, Fufa. This is for the king. Okay. I'll go and don't mix them all. Okay, so so what should I do? Cook or mash? You have to cook each with you one cup of water. This one, one cup of water. This one, one cup of water. Okay. Don't mix them all. No, I won't. Thank you. 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 I know I'm going to tell you, 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 I'm going to My princess. What's that? It's your head, my princess. What else would you do? My lady sent her to the market to get something for her. Why didn't she send you? Well, I was preparing your herbs and the king's hair. Where's the king at? He dropped the herb in a hurry and said he had an urgent call to attend to. Urgent call? What's more urgent than the king's life? Who did he drop the herb with? My lady, my princess. Where is she? She's in our room. Okay. My princess, he said he should drink the herbs while it is warm, so he can work perfectly.
I hope you prepared it the way I asked. Yes, my lady. Okay. Good. Oh, come back. Go and check if the king is up. Is the king up yet? Yes, my lady. Good. Take the herbs to him. But my lady, I, I thought you'd want to serve him the herbs. Yes. Take it to him, tell him I'm not feeling fine. Go on. Okay, my lady. I got my corona, if I'm I got my baggy bed, my powerful full of Why am I there? Why is he can't even boom? I didn't do all come up. Oh, when I jock, I really love for Greetings, my king. <coughs> I brought you your herbs. Where is the king? Well, according to my lady, he said he was rushing off somewhere, so he dropped the herbs with her. Why did she bring it? Why are you? Well, um, she's not feeling too well, my king. So she asked me to bring it to you. Drop it here. Yeah. Okay, my king. I got my if I Keep my head before I'm going to 
when you get there, you will know. Poison, but thank the girls we were able to do something on time. Thank you very much. The anti poison will help him neutralize all the poison in his bloodstream, and the herb will help him stop further circulation and it will help excrete the poison through sweat, urination, and vomiting. Though it will take some days for him to be fine, but I assure you one thing he will be fine. Thank you very much. What actually happened? I am asking the same question. I don't know why Ulo will want to poison my father. I assure you, he will put through. Thank you once again. I don't know how I'm going to pay you back for saving my father's life. Thank the girls. I shall return to the cell. No. You're going to stay here and monitor the king. I can't risk my father's life again. I'm not sure the king will be happy if he comes by and hear that you set his prisoner free. For now, my order stands. Yes, my presence. Thank you. Oh, God, I Hey. It's me. You startled me, my, my lady. I'm sorry. Why are you here all alone? What of my king? Is he okay? He's the reason why I'm here. He was poisoned. Hey! How about you know D? When? How? And by who? This morning, by my chief mate, Ulo. But why? Let me bring her, Auntie. Let us go to the palace. I'll give you anti poison. Oh, is he dead? He can go. It's okay. Uh -huh. Atta has taken care of him. Uh -huh. So, how is he doing? He's fine. But you shouldn't be here. You should be in the palace uh, looking after him. He can go alone. I need your help. That's why I'm here. I don't understand, my lady. What is it? my chief mate will implicate us in this. She will connect us to this if we don't do something fast. I don't understand you. The king. Eh? You gave me the herbs that I gave to her that she prepared and gave to the king. Yes. That all this is happening. Don't you see the link? Did I poison the herbs? Or Muwa? Are you saying I did? I didn't say so, my lady. But a clear conscience has no accusation. We can swear before the whole village. Anytime, anywhere. I am ready and prepared, except if you are not. The king, eh? you talk like a child. Why don't you see reasons with me? Do you know the humiliation, the disgrace you will face for swearing before the entire village? Humiliation? Finally, I will be vindicated. 
But I'm sorry to say, ask this question, my lady. Did you in any way do anything that uh, you don't want people to know? He came down. I'll give you a piece of land. I'll give you money. I'll give you anything to make you comfortable. I say Obukwa. Say Obukwa. Say Obukwa. Ikenga will make you comfortable. Ikenga don't walk out on me. I owe alliance to the king and the whole kingdom. Ikenga will rope you in. I'll connect you to this crime. If you walk out on me and you don't do as I say. Do it. Young Mabuna, when you soon caught out at the jogo and the cop on his. And you girls thought I was jealous of her. That I hated her. That girl, she is a murderer. She's a bad luck. Okay? She is an opportunist. I mean, Ulo. I still don't believe that Ulo did it. Something is definitely wrong somewhere. Mm. And I can feel it. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not swearing for anybody. I can't swear for her. Because anything can happen. Ulo is a good girl. She is. Oh, why all these problems? I won't. Elders, I don't understand this. I don't understand this whole story at all. But why would Ulo poison the king? Once a killer, always a killer. That girl, she's a witch. We have to deal with her once and for all. Else, she bewitches our children. I'm trying to get something out here. If really, Ola poisoned the king, then there must be someone behind her. I mean, someone she's working for. Who could that be? I think that girl must be possessed by an evil spirit. Uh, but my chiefs, let us not rush into conclusion yet. She's still in the prison. Let us just pray that the gods will spare the king of this attack. The moment the king is well, we shall all sit down here and decide her fate. I think you are right. Let's pray that the king us fast. Nothing will happen. He will pull through. He has seen tough days. I see. Are you sure she didn't go out? Uh, I've been looking at this person. I don't know. She's not sure. I'm not getting a response. Maybe something is wrong with my lady. What could be wrong with her? No idea. No idea. No idea. Maybe she went out. What helps? Open this door. We can't open this door except to break into this. Break it down. Open the door. Get at her fast now! My lady! My lady! My lady! The evil, the lion himself, oh, praise the gods for sparing your life. The you go of our generation. Mm. Mm. You're welcome back to life. I'm so happy for you, my dear. Uh, now that you are completely healed, what will be the punishment for the maiden that wanted to take your life? Uh, my dear, first of all, let me thank you all for your support. 
Thank you for being there during the entire time. I thank you. I have taken a deep look into the case of this lady. And I can see that it is all complicated. Quite complicated because of the Kenga's death. Now, we have no way of knowing the original source of this poison. The girl is pleading innocence. And we must tread carefully. Carefully so that we don't make a mistake that we'll regret in the future. Uh, I'm sorry to cut you short, my king. Uh, but the truth is, there is no time you catch a thief that he or she will not claim to be a first timer. Exactly. And we all know the history and record of the jail in question in this kingdom. Huh? I suggest we act fast. We should be very fast uh, to avoid uh, 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 allowing that bad act to spoil the remaining good eggs we have in the kingdom. You are right, Ishi. You are absolutely right. I think I saw a point in that uh, one day. What if the girl is innocent of this crime? This was how we delayed the other time. When this the same girl was spared off the crime she committed. Now the same thing would have happened again. Why must she be fingered? Huh? Why must she be in the picture in the first place? Mm -hmm. I wonder. Mm -hmm. Is she the only maiden in the palace? Yeah? What? Uh, uh, well, uh, my chance. I think. I have concluded that this maiden is someone to come to the presence of the great oracle of Utaka. And swear to our innocence. I need not remind you, Chiefs, that uh, whosoever swear falsely in the presence of uh, <laughs> Utaka, that will happen to him or her. Oh, I like this. Yes, I like this. The idea is true. Yes, yes what is it? My king, my soul is here to see you. Are you, are you blind? Can't you see I'm in the middle of a deliberation? He really needs to see you that has to do with Ulo's case. Ulo's Well, then bring him in there. Here it is, my king. Oh, you may leave us, guys. That's my king. I greet you, my king and my chiefs. We greet you too. You're welcome. Yes, ah. Uh, Mazzioli, you demanded to come before me. Yes, my king. But first of all, let me congratulate you on your first recovery. May the gods be praised. Yes. Yes. I came in respect of Rula. I am her father's only brother. I am here on behalf of the family. We sat and agreed to pay you a visit, my king. To tell you that we have ostracized Ulo from our family. Due to the acts and causes associated with her crimes. To begin with, my king, her father, being my brother, died the moment she was born. And her mother died because of her too. Now she wanted to kill our king after killing an innocent young man. Your Majesty, sorry to say this. We want you to know that we are strongly behind you on any action or judgment you pass on her. It is a pity, but let he that kills by the sword die by the sword. Ishe. Um, I greet you. And I thank you for appearing before me. My teams and I we have also reached the conclusion after taking a deep look into the case. And we have concluded that the girl in question is someone 
to come to the presence of our great oracle of Odaka. To swear to our innocence. After that, we shall know what to do. You are welcome. Ah, we will be relieved. Thank you for coming. Oteka, Nukwalosi, Okalosi, Uboye mbosi ndu na agwe. Ani maju. Ege li si kwede mwe wwe kwa kaka kaka kwa 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 Oteka. Look at abominable things happening in this community. And you are there. Oteka. We always call you in the night. And you answer us. Now. Oteka. Go ahead and see about this abominable thing that has happened. Nalum, take this mess. Take it. Beat your course with the uh, attacker by striking it three times. If you are guilty, attacker will strike you dead immediately. If you are not guilty, or Taka will spare your life. Do it. Greetings, everyone. Thank you. Greetings, my elders. Greetings, my chiefs. I am here to plead not guilty to the allegation that I poisoned the king. If I am guilty, may Otaka strike me dead. But if I'm innocent, may Otaka not spare the culprits. She is not guilty. Look at, look at her, look at her. She is the one guilty. So it was you all the one. You must be me. You. How can you tell me to bring my younger sister for your father to sleep with me? I, I, I could not watch the king take another wife and disown me as a king's own. So. so you have to resort into taking my life. I give you the king. I, I lied against Atta. So because you will not sleep with me. You go out. Help you? No. You were born in hell. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Once again, you have proven your loyalty to me. I want to apologize for all the allegations, the humiliation, and all the harassment you faced during the entire period. On behalf of my family, I say sorry. Please do not take it to heart. We're really, really sorry. <laughs> my princess, you don't need to apologize. All you did is what you should have done in such situation. My princess, I bear no grudges with anyone. 
I am just grateful to the gods that have been vindicated once again. It's nothing, my princess. All right, if you say so. My princess. Oh, my princess. Are you Are you alright? Yes, yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Let's just see. My, my princess, please just sit down, please. I beg you, please. My princess, are you alright? I'm fine. Are you, Are you sure? I honestly think that you're with child. Who told you that? Finished. No, my princess, you are not finished. My princess, it's a good thing. My princess, are you? from Buzu Kingdom. The Eagle. Sacrifice it before the shrine of Obosus. Yerambia, I did Buisi Ajan. Okay, Jimmy. So our loyalty. Okay, man. Buisi too. It's settled and over. All will be well again. The gods will visit you with many blessings, including male and female children. Your son Olama. The heir to your throne will be well in no time.
Ah. My father, my king. My son, the prince and heir to the throne of my kingdom. I greet you. Um, actually, father, I that is something I wanted to tell you. And since the princess is here, I think that makes it better and easier. Um, I could excuse both of you. Um, no. Your presence is highly needed. Well, speak then, son. I am listening. Father, I have a pressing need. Just mention it, and it is settled for life. What is it? Father, I want to get married. I need a wife. Ah. Good, good. Shut my hands, son. Yes. Good. Now tell me. For I can make arrangements. I can arrange to meet any princess from any kingdom, be it for the west, south, east, or north of this kingdom. Father, she's not a real blood. Oh. A daughter of a present. Well, who is she? She's not far fetched. She's within these walls. Father, I'm in love with Olo. Well, you have my blessing. Oh, thank, thank you, Father. Yes, son. Come. Come, my son. What? Hey! Hey! Today is a very special day ah, in our kingdom. It's the prince, the future king of Mbosu kingdom, taking a bride today. But the ego himself, the Mbuse II of Mbosu kingdom, yes. the ego himself, is using this medium to organize a little get together in form of thanksgiving unto the gods for serving him, uh, his household, and the entire kingdom. Yes. From all these troubles we experienced in this community these few years ago. Uh, we therefore ask you to sit down, relax your mind, eat and drink, marry, as we witness this great event. Mm. Poison! Yeah. Poison! Yeah. And now I call on the maidens to bring forth the bride, the luckiest maiden of our time. Mm. <laughs> to come forth for the king's blessing. Let the music play on. Oh, yes.
Thank you, the people of uh, Umbuzaland. Igwe! My daughter, take this cup of wine and show us your husband. give you my blessing. May the gods of our land bless your union. May you be blessed in multiple folds. You shall be blessed with long life, all riches, prosperity, and plenty of children, male and female. Rise and live happily ever after. Thank <laughs> you. 
of us. You'll be fine. Yes. After her school, to the bush to get some help, so you'll soon be back. My children, there will be no need for that. I'm a fulfilled man. <clears throat> I can proudly return to my ancestors now. Oh, a proud just, father. You're scary, us. Please just stop, please. My father and my king, we need you most now. <coughs> my daughter, I have done my bit. The rest is left for you now. Prince, father, take charge of the kingdom. And make sure that you rule without fear or favor. And be very, very transparent in everything you do. Yes, Father. I promise to make you proud. Ah, the time is now. My ancestors beckon. Do you all hear the music? I can't hear anything, please. Stay with me, my Father, please. May the gods favor you. I'm already favored. Please stay with me, please. It is. My princess. It's my father. Is that something? Sir. <laughs> is there. Is there something you need to tell me? Bless you and my unborn grandchild. Me. Me. To, to drag with us. We must claim that land. Otherwise, the ghost of our land might cause calamities to fall upon us. We must claim the land.
threatening this land at the dawn of your reign. High priest, may the gods forbid. The gods are angry. And who is that fellow who incurred the wrath of the gods? They thunder in vengeance at the mortal man invoked a mercy. How dare I, when their place of refuge has been desecrated by mortal man, desecrated by removing one of their staffs, they are saddened, and the peril awaits your kingdom. If it is not recovered in two market days, I have spoken the minds of the gods. Mba! Mba! Mobilize every able-bodied young man in this kingdom. I want that stuff. Or your hair. On a platter. Okay, Your Majesty. This is the man, the saboteur of your reign. You, you, Mazobi. Your Majesty, live forever and allow your servant to explain. You want to explain how you wanted to invoke the rights of the gods on Mussolat. I was going to return it. I planned to kill that agent of the white man after he had paid me the money. You're a lunatic. Majibi, what are you saying? You speak like a man demented in the brain and cancerous in the mouth. Your Majesty, if you will permit me. You see that stranger? He approached me to steal the staff of a bus of which he will pay me some money. I was wondering what the white man would do with the staff of a rose. So, uh, I was owing money, and uh, I thought this would be an opportunity for me to offset all my debts. There is no excuse for stealing. Much more stealing from the shrine of a rose. I was going to return it. I thought a rose had come to my aid by providing me such a wonderful opportunity. Ha! Uh, your mouth be cost. His rot is sure. Mazibi, you wanted to kill to pay off your debts. God! Your mouth is taking off. 
knock him out of it. Yes, Your Majesty. Go! Can't you tell me about that? Go, 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 It is difficult for once for the lion to roar. However, I will allow the queen to pronounce a judgment on Maziobi. My queen. He dies. He dies not only for stealing the staff of opposition, but also for his treachery against me and my mother. The gods come down. You want your uncle dead? Not for his present, but his past? For both. He should die a painful death. Showing him mercy amounts to weakness. I do not dispute your logic. But I think your personal vendetta is at the core of your verdict. I hear bitterness and anger in your voice. And that makes judgment triumph over mercy. With due respect, you misunderstand me. And I detest it! I equally detest your short memory, your hypocrisy and blindness to the prorogation of mercy. How can you forget so soon how you were brought from prison and poverty into the palace. No one, no one has been shown as much mercy as you have received in this palace. He is a wicked man. How can you defend a thief? The same way I defended a murderer and made a queen of Mbuzu land. Enough, both of you. Enough. I am the king. And my orders are final. There must be division of labor. And everyone should know his or her boundary. Oh Lord, here, yeah. that's my wife. And the queen to the great king of Mbuzo Kingdom. And as such, as the power has bestowed on me, as king, Buzi the Todd of Mbuzo Kingdom. I hereby silence every other voice except the voice of my queen. My queen, you may pronounce your judgment on this matter. My lord, I greet you, my elders, I greet you, greet my queen, my lord, I thank you for the opportunity you've given me to avenge all the wrongs my uncle did to me. <sighs> but I want to tell you all here today that it is wrong to pay evil for evil. <sighs> so, I forgive him. And I ask you all to forgive him. My Lord, I plead for your forgiveness. Instead of ostracizing him and the public assault, I plead that he pays a fine and makes sacrifices to the Obususi deity. 
We cannot have a kingdom of rigid rules. So I plead with you, my Lord. Let us amend. Forgive. And lead by example. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you.